Hey guys, it's Frame, and today I'm here to bring you a video asking you guys something. So, I have had this idea for a while to make RuneScape lore videos. Not lure videos, not luring, not the thing, you know, that a lot of people despise, but lore, the story behind RuneScape. And obviously, RuneScape 3 does a very good job at telling the, uh, telling the story of, you know, its lore, but... I don't really feel like old school RuneScape tells a very good story about its lore, even though there's a lot of undiscovered lore, or well, it's discovered, but I guess you could say untold lore that people don't really look into. So when I've actually done a little bit of uh, research into it, or looking into it, I guess you could say, there has been a lot of things on old school RuneScape, you know, the story developed thus far that I've found pretty interesting. And for things that don't actually have lore explained, there's been a lot of theories as to how those things got there, uh, otherwise known as speculation. And I really do think all that stuff is interesting. So my question to you guys is, would you be interested in seeing these sorts of videos? Uh, so the way it would be done... Well, first of all, I want to deal with my one friend, um, James, or Logout. Um, I'm going to link his channel in the description, and he makes really good videos, so if you guys want to subscribe to him, you can, or whatever. But um, I want to do these videos with him and make it sort of a series, so maybe have a video on my channel, have a video on his channel, and we'll alternate back and forth. But uh, essentially, we would be doing the research, and uh, I'm not sure who would do the commentary. Probably either a mixture of us or just me. I'm not really sure, but um, you guys, like, I really want to know if you guys would uh, like that because this game is really interesting if you look into all of the all of the uh, story behind it. And I would probably start with Underground Pass if I had to if I had to do something. Uh, and I think that is I forget which god that is exactly. I want to say it's the Ithaca God or something? I'm, I, something along those lines. I don't want to be incorrect, though. So what you guys will know is if I do make these videos, there will be a lot of research done on them. There will be a lot of effort put into them, which apparently you guys really didn't like as of yesterday. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, just let me know below. And obviously like the video if you would like that idea. Dislike the video if you wouldn't like that idea. But come to uh, think of it. So just to give you a quick explanation for what happened last video, at least at le uh, what I think it happened is a lot of people kind of expected when I uploaded a video yesterday, it was the, uh, it was the freaking, why can't I think of it right now? It, it was the, um, the RuneScape top five movie references or movie references in RuneScape. So as you guys, if you've been a subscriber for a while, you'll know that I like to make a lot of different videos. I don't like to just make videos on one category, and I like to parody people. I like to just poke fun at things, so I've done videos like this in the past, and some of them uh, get really well, like, well-off responses, like, so people respond to these videos really well, and others don't respond to these videos really well, so I know pretty much what people want to see. But at the same time, I always like to create new content, so making a simple video just like, I, I don't know, like I think I've made a few other videos in the past. One was a uh, crappy RuneScape Dagoneth lore, or Dagoneth King's lore, and uh, it was just like a little joke that I made to myself, because I thought it was funny, and like uh, when I make these videos, I have jokes with my friends back and forth, and they often think it's funny, so I will think at that point that it's funny enough to actually upload it, and it doesn't really do well. Because some people, well, I think I'm getting comments saying like that my video or my content has been going downhill or something like that. And like that there's just not much effort put into my videos, which I mean, if you want to think that, that's fine. But I want to say that when it's just a simple commentary video like this, I have gameplay and I have commentary. Yes, at that point, maybe there hasn't been much um, effort put into that because well, rather not much effort, but. I want to word it like a low effort sort of video because it's just commentary. It's not actual production of a video. So a lot of my videos that I actually make, I do put a decent amount of effort into it. Like I want to say no matter what, I'll always spend at least an hour on a video. 
And you guys have to think it may it's just not like it's not just recording the commentary. There's also getting clips that I think are interesting enough in the background. So there's that. And I, I normally don't just put gameplay footage. I, I used to do like a really long time ago, but I want to put something that is actually at least worth watching in the background. So I'll normally put something along those lines. But I just want to let you guys know that, yeah, of course, some videos aren't really going to uh, do well. And that's fine if people don't like a video. If you don't like a video, you don't like a video. It's fair enough. You guys are completely entitled to your own opinion on that. But I don't want you guys to think that I'm not putting in effort into these videos because more often than not, I really try to develop an idea for a while. And I, there's been plenty of videos. There's been tons of videos I have, just haven't done when I've thought of the idea being really well because I didn't think I could execute it well enough. So every now and then, there's going to be videos that just are bound to not do well. So uh, all I can really say is, uh, well... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really going to apologize for that video because I'm just trying to, uh, new things. That's all I can really tell you. I'm always trying to do new things. So there was that. And if people unsubscribed, I, I just want to say one thing from a YouTuber standpoint, at least, because people always um, will say that they unsubscribe to YouTubers or something. And not to say that your subscription doesn't matter. But if you subscribe to something and it only takes one video for you to unsubscribe to something and it's not even that you know, ridiculous of a video, or let's let's say it doesn't have any extreme views or opinions in it, and you unsubscribe for one simple video, I can promise you that the YouTuber isn't really going to care about that subscription, because personally, I think I got like something like 40 unsubscri people not subscribing or unsubscribing, whatever you want to call it, yesterday, and I, I personally don't really care, because it's I don't really feel like I did anything wrong because like I, I feel very justified in uploading videos to my channel. So if people aren't really going to, I guess, take that well, then I really don't know what else to tell you. So that's pretty much it for this video. It's asking question. Or I just wanted to ask that question and I also wanted to address uh, the, I, I guess, quote unquote concerns that people might feel that there are for my channel. So I want to release a final Zora video tomorrow so I've uh, if you guys again if you've been subscribed for a while I did I set a goal of killing a thousand Zoras and I finally got that done so you guys should expect that video tomorrow and I also have a high risk PK video coming tomorrow and I want to do another how to mess with people video but maybe I'll try uh, to lay off the comedy for a few days so <laughs> you know we'll see how that goes but I thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time